I will not only be sharing the exact Shopify store template that I'm using to make hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, but I'm going to show you how you can build a store like this one step by step in less than 15 minutes. Now, this is going to be a very, very beginner friendly Shopify tutorial so you can follow along. And just to prove that I'm not just talking shit here, but actually know what I'm doing, let me just real quick show you a few dashboards so you actually know it's legit. And then I'm going to show you exactly how I've created created the stores of these dashboards. So if you take a look at the last 30 days here, you're going to see it made $207,000. In the same exact time frame, we also made $189,000, which already combined almost adds up to $400,000. And then we have another store here, which made $41,000. And um, I can keep going here. This one also made 29. I have a few more, but I think you get the point here. And they all have one thing in common. We use the same exact store setup. So let me show you exactly how that looks. So basically, I've made this store just to show you how the stores are always designed. And this is basically how your store is also going to look if you just follow my simple instructions. So the very, very first thing you have to do is you go on to Shopify.com. After that, you click on start free trial and just fill everything in here, skip all, then select the country you live in, click on next, sign up through either email, Facebook or, or Apple ID, basically use your email right here and then um, make sure to actually activate it through your Gmail. You're going to get an email with like a 10 digit code, which you're going to have to copy and paste into the Shopify thing. After that, click on remind me next time. This doesn't really matter. And just wait a few seconds until this loads. And that is it. You officially signed up to your very first Shopify store. Now we're going to have to pick the right theme. In my opinion, by far the best theme I've ever seen is the shrine theme. Okay. You're going to have to pay for it. However, it's totally worth it. But if you don't want to pay for a theme or you don't have the budget for it, you can also use either Dawn or Sense, which are also really, really good. And if you're a beginner, more than enough. The thing I like the most about the Shrine theme is how you can bundle up products to get the most out of your customers. Okay. And by the way, I'm not affiliated here. You're not going to find any affiliate links below this video. I want to make sure that you actually can trust my opinion. And this is a fully free choice. I don't get any money from making this video. Okay. So now that we have actually picked the theme, now we're going to have to pick the perfect coloring scheme. So how this is going to work, you're just going to click on theme set and then you're going to see a bunch of coloring schemes. Okay. You're going to have to play around here a little bit with the colors to make sure it fits your niche the best. The example product I'm going to use for for this store is going to be one of these face rollers, which is green. And I'm going to make the full store in this green color just because the product has that color as well. All right. So now that you have the right color, you're also going to have to pick the right name for your store. So how you're going to do this is you're just going to go to this chat GPT and type in, I'm selling this product put in the AliExpress link of your product. And then after that, just write in list 100 names for my brand. And then you can do all the specifications. For example, should be short or one or two words. And then you just wait until ChatGPT replies. And I'm sure we're going to find something good in here. All right. So one of the most glowstone, I like that one the most. Let's just pick this one and go with it. By the way, keep in mind, this is not that important. It's not going to change that much. Just pick something. Don't overthink this. Now let's get into making your logo. By far, the easiest place to make your logo is Canva. Okay, so you're just going to go on canva.com, click on create design and my thing it's going to be German, but whatever. And basically just type in the niche you're in. So in our case, we're in the beauty niche. We're just going to type in beauty. Okay. Um, and what you're going to see is a bunch of perfect logo templates, which you're going to be able to use. This should also not be overthought too much. And we're just going to pick one from here if we find something. And if we don't, we're going to keep searching for other names. I have Canva Pro, so I'm going to use this one. And basically, you just click on it and then you just change the name onto what your name is. And in our case, glow is already the right word. So we're just going to have to change this hello to stone. We're just going to have to change up the colors a bit. And I think this is more than enough. 
I like this already. How you save this is you just click on the top right and you have to make sure that you have a transparent background on because if you don't, the logo is gonna suck on your store. If you did everything correctly, when you download it, it should look something like this. All right, so now that we have the name and logo, I'm just gonna show you how I structure my websites always. Very first thing we're gonna add on the top is some sort of discount. Either it's gonna be use code X for X amount off or something along the lines, but we always wanna add a sale. Below that, we're gonna have a second thing, which is also gonna be a sale, which is again gonna be a limited time, 50% off sale. We always add two of these banners because that looks the cleanest. Then we're gonna have a header, which is gonna have our nice looking logo. We have home, shop, track your order and contact us. This is very important because you obviously wanna build trust with them that after you buy, you can contact them or that you can track the order. Next is gonna be the product information. So first, we need to make sure that the picture we have looks very clean and it explains the product well. Ideally, if the product is not self-explanatory, you're just gonna use a GIF which shows what this product is for, what it does, etc. Then we're gonna add a title, in our case, just Glowstone, whatever the product name is. We're gonna add X amount of reviews and make sure that obviously they're good and there's a lot of them, it's very important as well. Next is gonna be the price. So it's very important to have a compared price next to the price and we always have at least a 50% sale because that adds an extra element of scarcity and people don't wanna miss out. Next is three bullet points on what makes the product good. So cooling effect, drained toxins and less puffiness, all right? Whatever the arguments are for why people should buy your product, at three. After that, you're gonna have the bundles. People always have to be able to pick multiple pieces and then save money if they do. Ideally, you can also add special gifts for people who add four or something along those lines. And this is something we like to do like this. For example, on the Shrine theme, if you click on get two, you unlock free shipping. If you get three, you unlock another product. And if you get four, you unlock another product, okay? So you get all these extra benefits if you buy multiple, and this incentivizes a lot of people and actually helps. After that, you obviously have the add to cart button, nothing special about that. You're gonna have the shipping options. I like to put it like this to make sure that people understand how long the shipping times are, and you always wanna be transparent with your shipping times. So if your shipping times suck, add that. If your shipping times are good, also add that. Next is adding a sticky add to cart button. If you just scroll, you're gonna have this right here, also very important. As the next thing, what I like to always have is one review below all of this. Here in this review, you have to just add specific points why people wouldn't buy. I was hesitant to purchase this because skincare tools are something I prefer to try in store before buying, but I decided to go for it and I'm so glad I did as just an example, okay? Picture and then name and then five star reviews. One pro tip, this is not done perfectly here because this picture right here looks like a stock picture. Ideally make that picture as dirty and bad as possible just so it actually looks real. Next is a little checkbox which people can take on or off and basically just buy something extra, all right? This is something which is gonna make you a lot of extra money if you have the right product in here. Most people don't use this. This is always gonna make you extra money for sure. Specifically with the Shrine theme, we always use this divider because it just looks cool, but this is not gonna change anything. And then after that, we add extra layers of trust. Any big magazines which mention this product or something along those lines. After that, we're gonna have another divider and it's just gonna basically look something like this. Actually, this looks bad. We're, we're only gonna have one like this. The next thing we're gonna have is the main description, basically. Again, three, four bullet points on why this is good. And next to that, we add another picture which just makes everything look clean then we add some sort of results okay so this has to be either like before after effects or some sort of thing like that any stats statistics all these things are very very helpful and going to make you a lot of extra money after that we're going to have another picture and basically this moving text with a bunch of benefits of your product and these are all things which are just like icing on the cake this is not going to make an insane difference it just looks cool after that very important again have a bunch of testimonials restructure them like this but also we're we're gonna have a few more testimonials later down the line. Next is this divider and we're gonna have basically a 60 day money back guarantee, another like get it now button and another um, section divider so it looks super clean and then we add another gif, another order now button, a bunch of reviews 
and that's basically it in our usual stores we're not going to add it in here because it just would take too long but there would be a bunch of reviews in here like below all of this with either the app looks or something like that and this is exactly how we structure all of our stores however i'm going to tell you right now the store itself is not the main thing you need in a dropshipping business there's two things which are way more important number one picking the right product and number two is marketing it the right way these two things are extremely challenging if you just pick the wrong product even if you have the perfect store and a bad product it's still not gonna work so what we did is basically build out a full mentorship program where it's just gonna be a one-on-one -on -one program of us looking over everything you do for example you make a list of 30 products which you think are good we look over that list and we just tell you this one is bad and this one is good pick this one and then after that we're going to look over your store tell you what to change there maybe what to make better etc after that we're going to show you exactly how to market your product the right way either organically or with paid advertisement we have a very very simple but super effective system on how to get to your first ten thousand dollars per month in profit with your dropshipping store and this is something we replicated hundreds and hundreds of times if you just go onto this youtube channel and take a look at it you're gonna see we have the most amount of testimonials and case studies in the entire game these are 20 minutes to one hour long videos where i'm just talking to a real student which basically shares their experience with us this is something which is literally impossible to fake especially because when you're in the program you're also going to see the same exact people from the testimonials in the calls with you together and trying to scale their business even further if you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, you can actually click the link below sign up for a call and we're going to see if this is going to be a good fit or not.